Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna see what is your energy for this week collective. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general collective reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. We're gonna start with Aries first. Aries, what is the energy surrounding you this week? What is the energy for Aries this week? Destiny. So you are going to be having to look at things that are supposed to be a part of your path and journey. You could be realizing that there is a relationship or a connection that with an individual that is a part of your path and destiny. Now, this could be somebody that is a karmic connection, somebody that is very triggering, somebody that does really push your buttons and force you to kind of look at that, that shadow side of yourself that you're maybe not wanting to look at. So let's find out what is it that you need to surrender? What is it you need to embrace? And what is your guides wanting you to know this week? Aries. You need to surrender your attachment to results. It says, the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can actually sabotage you. What do you need to embrace? Patience. You're being asked to practice patience right now. It's not easy to do this, but if you're strong and there's a reason why things aren't aligning, there's a reason why. So just practice patience. Eventually, everything will work out for you. And what do your guides want you to know? Breathe. The breath is a vital bridge between your body and your soul. It's the connection between the inside and the outside, connecting you with the universe, spirit, and the divine. The breath permeates your entire being with prana, which is the same living force that nourishes everything in the universe. Taurus. All right, Taurus. What is the overall energy for Taurus this week? What does Taurus need to know? What does the universe want Taurus to know? What's the overall energy for Taurus this week? Isolation. So you could be spending a lot of time by yourself. You could be feeling like you need to isolate yourself. We do have the nine of wands coming out. So you could be feeling very hurt, very vulnerable over a situation where you may feel like you are not happy in the situation. And because of that, you may not trust people around you and you may kind of go in self-isolation mode. What do you need to surrender? Uh, surrender your obsessive thinking. So if you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit or to God. Doing so will help bring you clarity and it will even resolve the problem. What do you need to embrace? Miracles. You're being asked to pay extra close attention to all the big and small miracles that have already occurred in your life. And also those that are currently occurring, but still yet to come. The ones below the surface you don't see. Miracles do surround you, so be on the lookout for them. And your guides want you to know love. Love is the foundation of your existence. And you are just as worthy of receiving as you are giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is an equal form of energy that propels through life. Gemini. What is Gemini's energy this week? You want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Gemini, perseverance. Okay, we got the Queen of Pentacles coming out with perseverance, Gemini. So it looks like there is something that this week you're going to need to pay attention to when it comes to your money. You need to be very consistent, very diligent with your work and your finances. Being able to persevere through any obstacles and challenges that you may be feeling. What do you need to surrender? Any low self-esteem. You deserve this success, the love and all the abundance. So set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. So building up your confidence is going to be really important. What do you need to embrace? Follow your passion. If there's something that does excite you and it actually motivates you too, this is a message from the record that it can lead you to abundance. So don't be silent at this time. Be confident and be open and persevere through that. What do your guides want you to know? Listen, 
You have to be willing to listen if you really want to, uh, to understand someone. Excuse me. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but what lies beneath the words that are being said to you. So make sure that that resonates with you. Cancer, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Cancer, what is the overall energy for you this week? Cancer, what's the overall energy for you? Perception. The way you look at things, the way you're going to perceive things. We also have the Six of Cups. So this could be a memory that you're thinking about in the next week. Something you may perceive one way was actually very different than the way you perceived it. Looking at things from a bird's eye view. Looking at things from the bigger picture, not just the fine details of the situation in the past. What do you need to surrender? Give yourself over to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and the answers will support you that are going to arrive. What do you need to embrace? Dependence. There's something or someone you are clinging to, something from your past, and it's keeping you from stepping into your own light. You have everything you need to succeed and only approval you need is from yourself. And what does spirit want you to know? Intuitive nudges. Intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, universe, and the divine source of spirit and God. Leo, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. What is the overall energy for Leo this week? Leo, renewal. So something is being renewed within your life. We do have the Knight of Pentacles. So something you need to be very practical about, something you're very much thinking about, you are renewing something within yourself. Something that had been planted long ago is going to need a game plan. You're gonna be very methodical, maybe making some goals, some things that you wanna do. There's something that is driving this passion for you this week that's renewing within your soul. What do you need to surrender to play? Take a break from overthinking a particular goal and then do something fun. Play is the time to recreate and rejuvenation. And I think when you play, that's how it's gonna get your creative juices going. What do you need to embrace? The difficult role, spirit of perseverance, being prepared for great things, walking the hard path of life. So things may be difficult for you, but being able to reconnect with yourself and your inner child is gonna serve your highest good this week. What does spirit want you to know? Synchronicities. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicities that the spirit world is sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you with this specific reason. Virgo, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. What is the energy for Virgo this week? What's the energy for Virgo? Dissipating. So you could feel like something is taking from you. We do have the death card paired with that. So Scorpio energy. Something is coming to an end. Something that has been draining you physically, financially, emotionally, intimately. Something that has been a major shift this next week is something that had been slowly depleting things from you. Maybe there was a distance between you and a person and it finally comes to an end. What do you need to surrender? The procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action and attracting success. What do you need to embrace? The choice. You're being asked to make a choice that you've been struggling with. It's time to decide which path you're going to take. Listen to your intuition and eliminate everyone else's input and feel your way through the choice that's right for you. The time is now. And what does spirit want you to know this week? Light. Imagine yourself as being composed of energy and light because in reality, you're precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is the time to remember how vibrant you truly are, not allowing anybody to dissipate the light that you have or dim your light, but putting an end to people, places, things, or beliefs that you maybe had been suppressing and letting those go. Libra. 
If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. What is the energy for Libra this week? Completion. So something is coming to an end for you, Libra, this week. We do have the Seven of Wands. So something that is being pushed away from you, something is being blocked from you that is a necessary part of your journey, something that maybe had been done for quite some time. The book is finally closing on this chapter of your life. What do you need to surrender? Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of trying to fight it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is, is going to actually bring you more peace. What do you need to embrace? Open up. You're being asked to open your heart to another, to let your walls down and trust that they want what's best for you. Your life will open up in wonderful ways once you decide to open up. And what does spirit want you to know? Have fun. Stop. When is the last time you actually had some fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something really silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul the permission to actually go out and have fun. Scorpio, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, what is the energy for Scorpio this, this week? What's the energy for Scorpio this week? Expansion. So there is something that is expanding in your spectrum this week. Okay, it looks like we got the Queen of Cups. So your feelings and emotions could be growing in a particular situation. It could be something that you feel about yourself. It could be a situation with another individual. But either way, your emotions are getting stronger and stronger. What do you need to surrender? Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that has come just from you. What do you need to embrace? Protect. You're being asked to protect yourself and your energy. It's okay to want to give to others, though you need to set healthy boundaries with your energy before doing so. Now is the time to get some protection in place. And what is it your guides want you to know? Study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn, whether that is learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity for you to expand your mind, and that's exactly what your overall energy is going to be, is expansion. So you're needing to think further with these feelings and emotions that you have. Sagittarius. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. What is the overall energy for Sagittarius this week? What is the energy for Sagittarius? Release. So there's something that you're needing to let go and you're needing to release. We do have the Queen of Swords. So you may need to be putting boundaries in place in regards to a situation that has finally ran its course. It's something to say let it go and move on and move away from it. With the Queen of Swords, you're turning your back and you're finally letting it go. What do you need to surrender? Surrender your resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. So try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards the positive situation in your life. What do you need to embrace? The victim mindset. You feel the world is against you and this is only going to cause you to attract more negative results. Stop the blame and take responsibility for your own happiness. Only then will abundance start to flow to you. What do your guides want you to know? Ancestral wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this time to learn and grow from past experiences. You are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as you continue to evolve in the spirit world. Capricorn, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Capricorn, what is the energy for you this week? Balance. So there is something that needs to come into balance in your life. We do have the Seven of Cups coming out with that. So there's a lot of choices and options that you may be juggling with your life this week. And you're needing to really decide who and what you should be giving to. You could be in an imbalance right now, giving more to one person or another or giving more to your job than the people around you. There's a need for you to really not keep so many options open, but really narrow down where you want to give and create healthy boundaries. What do 
do you need to surrender? Surrender your fear of change, Capricorn. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of change in your job, health, or relationship, or fear of just aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all will be well. What do you need to embrace? Expand. You're being asked to expand. You live in a huge world with endless possibilities and staying safe in the known is no longer working for you. It's time to make your world just a little bit bigger. It's time to imagine the possibilities and go all in and go for it. What do your guides want you to know? Inspire and passion. Life devoid of passion can be very boring. An uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to recognize and reignite those passions and rejoin life again. This is an opportunity to set new goals for yourself and for you to reconnect with where you are on a soul level and get the passion and drive there because you need to let go and surrender the fear of any change. Aquarius. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Aquarius, what is the overall energy for you this week? Aquarius, insecurity. So there is something that you are feeling not at your best. It looks like you're needing to take a minute, think and really analyze what is it that you're insecure about. And then you need to detach. You need to surrender and let that go and move away from that insecurity mindset. Something that you've been holding on to, something that you've been obsessing about that you can't do or you can't be or you can't have. Universe is saying now's the time to let that go. What do you need to surrender? Surrender your need to always being right. Give others the gift of letting them also be right. Be yielding but not rigid. This will help you resolve conflicts and it's going to also improve of your relationships. What do you need to embrace? Considering your options, you've narrowed your focus to one desired outcome and you might be missing a bigger opportunity. So open up and let the universe send you the highest possible result. What do your guides want you to know? Hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know that know when to reach out to you to see if you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or you're struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope for you. Pisces, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Pisces, what's the overall energy for you this week, Pisces? Confusion. Okay, so your head's in the clouds a little bit this week trying to make a decision what to do. Should you stay or should you go? It looks like it's a struggle either way. If you leave, you're leaving somebody or something behind that you have a lot of emotions and feelings for. If you go, you do feel that you're facing challenges and obstacles. The universe is saying you have to take your head out of the clouds and make a decision what's best for you. Now, what do you need to surrender? Surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles actually occurring in your life. Feel and know that the events are real and let go of any resistance. Banish the doubts that the miracles can actually happen. What do you need to embrace? Getting stuck in fear. You're thinking of all the things that could go wrong, but what about the things that could go right? Make a paradigm shift in your thinking and take inspired action anyway. What do your guides want you to know? Be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved and all that you are, all that you are about to become also. Once, every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and be proud of yourself. <laughs>